Previously on Kid Force, super spy Meerkat recovered the candy factory's top secret chocolate recipe after it was stolen. Then, expert chef Frog baked a batch of GPS cupcakes to discover the identity of the thief, who turned out to be a kid. From there, Master of Disguise Fox picked up the trail and followed the bad kid home, where she hacked his computer and got all the information they need to finally bring him down. Him? I mean, seriously, this is getting ridiculous. Finally! <sighs> hey guys, when does the meeting start? 15 minutes ago, Frog. Oh. Alright, let's get started. We're all here because there's a mystery brewing at the candy factory. It all started when the candy factory's top secret chocolate recipe was stolen from their headquarters. Thanks to Meerkat, we were able to get it back. That's right. I use my super secret spy skills to outwit those goofy grown-ups. But what else is there to worry about? I mean, we got the recipe back, right? Right, but remember how the bad guys guarding the recipe were using giant candy clubs as weapons? Oh yeah, that was weird. Super weird, and it got me thinking. Maybe someone who works at the candy factory is the one who stole the recipe. Because why else would they be using candy clubs? Exactly, Fox. We needed to find out who stole the recipe so we could stop them from doing it again. And that's where I came in. I cooked itty bitty GPS bots into some cupcakes and delivered them to the candy factory's headquarters. That way, if the thief ate one and went to the vault to steal more recipes, we will be able to follow them. Precisely, and it worked. After camping out all afternoon, Frog saw the thief coming out of the candy factory headquarters. Yeah, and it was a kid. Kid heroes and kid villains. Crazy times, right? Makes sense to me. Kids can do anything adults can do, even bad stuff, I guess. After Frog figured out who the thief was, Fox followed him to his house. We needed to figure out who he was and what he planned on doing next. He totally fell for that scout outfit, too. But I mean, let's get real. Who can resist minty cookies? Fox was able to get into his house, access his computer, and get all the information we needed. Our villain's name is Shark. And he is the son of the people who own the candy factory. Wait, the owner's kid is robbing the candy factory? Yep, and it gets so much worse than that. Shark has developed a mind control formula that he plans on putting into all the candy made by the candy factory. Mind control formula? Far out. He wants to infect all the candy in the city and bring every kid under his control. So every kid would have to do exactly what Shark tells them to do. I'm afraid so. He doesn't want any kid to be able to choose what they want to do. What a bully. The ultimate bully. You got that right. So, if he gets his way, every kid in the entire city will be a zombie controlled by Shark? Basically. And it looks like his plan is almost complete. How do we stop him? Luckily, with the data recovered by Fox, we know where he's going to be next. Alright then. Great. Let's go. What are we waiting for? Hold up, Meerkat. This is the most dangerous enemy we have ever faced. He has made a mind control candy formula, proving he has the cooking skills of Frog. He has eluded our detection until just recently, 
proving that he can blend in and hide just as well as Fox. And he has stolen from the candy factory's vault more than once, showing that he has spy skills rivaling even yours, Meerkat. We are going to have to work together if we are going to bring him to justice. But we can do this. We're the Kid Force. Nothing can stop us. Not even Shark. Every kid in this city is counting on us. Nothing is more important than free will. Let's go.